from a master case of 2017 historic autographs swag. This is a random hit break number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thank you to these folks right here to rallied big at the end to make this happen. So we'll open up the box, select the inner case, pull out the items that are already numbered. Thank you, Historic Autographs, for doing that. And then we'll uh, do the randomizer and see what everyone gets. So first things first, let's head over here. That's the master case. As you know by now, one, two, three on the left side, four, five, six on the right side using our red Bellagio die that Todd Reardon actually sent to me. He should be here in Chicago. He'll be getting there. And it's three. It'll be the right side. So this will be break number seven. And here is break number eight, which I'll post for next time. There we go. All right, good luck everybody. So our first item will be item six, which is the jersey. We know the pattern by now. Next one is item one. This time is the baseball. Item two is very heavy, must be a box of cards. Item number five, not sure what this could be, this is miscellaneous. And item number three and item number four both appear to be some sort of photo. All right, so there's everything right there. Good luck, folks. Okay, now we'll, now we'll do the randomizer. Randomize each list seven times, two and a five, seven times for lucky seven. Break number seven, names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. from Brett down to John. And then two and a five, seven times for the item numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We got two down to three. Get that in there. All right, here we go. Let's make this font larger so you can actually see. Brett, you have item two. Michael G, item four. John, item one. John, item five. John Parker, item six. John Parker again, item three. So let's see, John Parker has six and three. Let's sort this by column B. There it is, John Parker with six and three. We'll go in a numerical order. So John B. John B uh, with number one, item number one. And the item number one, John, is the baseball. All right, so I may need a little help identifying the baseball because they don't clue you in on the name. I'm not very good at this game. Great, good for you, Brian, thank you. And it's... It's not Conseco's on it. I'm not quite sure. No, it's it doesn't. Gonna have to look it up at JSA yeah, I gotta look it up at JSA. That's, I don't think anyone. Ooh. Yeah, six and each.
Uh, Cause that's JSA number WP six zero nine six four three. No six four eight. Man, do I need a security code for this? Oh, that's right. No, that's six four eight. What do I? What else do I need here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. Five. No? WP 609 648. I think I added an extra number. Oh, it's John Candelaria. <laughs> there you go, with an inscription. Nice. Signed in Virginia between uh, July sometime. There you go. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he bounced around, bounced around to. I think he, I, I feel like I remember from the Mets for some reason. Yeah, there you go. All right, so that was item number one for John. Uh, the next one is Brad Bates with number two. Brad Bates, you got this big one right here. It's a big, heavy one. What is this, Brett? It's nice. Look at that. Puzzle cards by Donris. Where's the, what year is this? I don't see the copyright on the bottom, but that's awesome. It's on the side of the little stamps. Wow. Boss man ran right over you. Oh, 84. 84 Donris. Wow. This was, uh, this was the, one of the hottest boxes in the hobby, Joe. One of the hot, Brett Bates, one of the hottest boxes in the hobby back in 1984. That is nice. That box hit 100 bucks in 84. That's equivalent to like, how much now? Yeah, it does have their historic autographs wrap on it. Yeah, those boxes came unsealed. There was no wrap. There you go. Nice. So there, that's that. There you go, Brett Bates. Redemption. Thanks for buying back in again. I'm glad you did. See, there you go, man. So Madding League rookie is a possibility. Daryl Strawberry a possibility as well. That's pretty strong. Nice one, Brett. Redemption. Got it. Got you back. Thanks for hey, you got us back by buying back in. I appreciate that. Ram.org took care of you. John Parker, number three. John, these have traditionally been photos. So let's see what's in here. All right, letter of authenticity, that's a good sign. We've got Jack Sharkey. There it is, Jack Sharkey. It's like a cut auto right here. There you go. I have no idea who Jack Sharkey is. Sorry, I, everybody knows Jack Sharkey. Yeah, absolutely. Jack Sharkey, of course. No, American World Heavyweight Boxing Champion. Ooh, this is actually kind of cool. Born in 1902, died at 91 in 1994. He was born Joseph Paul Zukowskis. Moved to Boston, blah, 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 blah. Little known of his early life until the outset of the First World War. It was during this tenure in the Navy that he first showed interest in boxing. Tall and husky for a man of his generation. Joseph was encouraged, yeah, by his uh, friends in the service to box. He quickly steps notarized the best boxer aboard any vessel on which he served. During his brief return home to Boston, he took part in his first fights for pay. The first on January 24, 1924, against one Billy Muldoon, whom he knocked out in the first round. By the time of his honorable discharge, just short of a month later, he had won a second fight and was already earning write-ups in Boston papers. There you go. Uh, the Cinderella man, I guess. I don't know. That's Jack Sharkey. There you go. Jack Sharkey. There you go, John Parker. History. Knowledge. Knowledge. All right. 
Well, let's see what the next one is. We've got Michael G with item four. Looks like another photo, of Michael G. PSA DNA, and it's Travis Jackson. Nice PSA DNA. That's a that's some cool artwork right there. That's cool. See it. Nice one for Michael G. That'll be available for pickup when you come by this weekend. Looking forward to that. Two more to go. Todd, what's going on? When are you visiting us, Todd Reardon? We were just talking about you. Uh, John, with number five. Number five is this guy right here. I actually don't know if he's from the Cinderella Man, but I think that's the same era. I think the Cinderella Man's a different person. And you got 2016 Art of Football Series 2. A lot of autographs in here. A lot of autograph possibilities in here. So there you go. You're coming on Friday. Nice. Good. Oh, the whole crew. That's the main crew that usually hangs out with me. Good. I'm, I'll, I'm looking forward to hanging out with you and Paige and Lauren. All right. Item six. John Parker with the final item, which is a jersey, John. Let's see what we got here. With surgical precision, precision, I shall open this. Blue, and it's Ekam J. Oh, everyone knows Ekam J. Now, oh, this is actually pretty sick, John. Odell Beckham Jr., number 13, right on the number one, there is the autograph right there. There is the JSA right here. There's the JSA right there too. Good job on the Ekam J. <laughs> I'm losing it, folks. Odell Beckham Jr., great one for John Parker. And that is your break, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have the next box up tonight. It'll probably sell out tomorrow and we'll do another one. We probably could start the day with this. Great job, everybody. Thank you very much. Live from Chicago, Joe for JaspiesOmnland.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.